So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is how to do manual cutter set at start. Uh, on the computer before I send the job over I, on my F1 screen there's an option for manual cutter set at start which I will select and when I say OK to send the job over to the uh, engraving machine uh, on my uh, pendant um, it's going to uh, display the job and I will go ahead and start it. What I expect is that the cutter is going to come out and pause over the top of the first um, letter that's going to cut and allow me to set the cutter depth manually. So I'll go ahead and start it right now. And you can see the cutter has come out and stopped right above the material. I'll manually lower the cutter until it's close to the material. And when I get nice and close, I'm going to turn my spindle motor off. And then I'm going to continue to lower the spindle until it just traps this piece of paper on top of the uh, material. So the cutter will go down and let's see if I can move my hand around so you can see this. Um, I'll just wait till it traps that piece of paper on top of the material. And that looks good. Uh, I'll let the cutter rebound to its um, uh, rapid uh, uh, level. Turn my cutter back on. I'm going to put a little uh, lubrication on top of the uh, plate so that it will keep my cutter cool. And now I'm going to start uh, the job. pull this plate off. We'll clean it up and have a look at it. And you can see we've got a very nice, as soon as it comes into focus, clean image. About uh, four thousandths uh, of an inch deep. On this material, it's probably uh, plenty deep. If I go any deeper than that, uh, I'm probably going to start to uh, displace material through the back side of the uh, plate. So um, this now can be filled uh, black or left as is. It's uh, extremely readable, readable in um, all levels of light.